the first brew are quite low. So please use your tap tap send when you are in Ghana to send money to yourself and enjoy the very best rate. Very excellent rate. What are we talking about this evening? Yes, last week we had a discussion on mortgages in Ghana with First National Bank. And I mean, it was very insightful uh, conversation that we had last week. And I had a lot of calls to bring them back again. And as I promised on the show, yeah, uh, today they are here with us once again to talk to us about how we can own our dream home in Ghana through mortgages. Uh, again, I have with me this evening, Elizabeth Ashi. Elizabeth Ashi is business development uh, analyst at First National Bank. She's also going to talk to us about mortgages again today. And I'll also uh, be joined by one property developer, Elizabeth Ohine. Elizabeth Ohine is also the CEO of uh, brick and wood properties uh, tonight elizabeth is also going to join us today is going to be more of questioning and answers questioning and answers because last week we couldn't take all the questions and i promise that i'm going to bring them back again and they are here with us once again but before elizabeth the two elizabeth join us i would like to go to uh, tap tap send and and take their message and also if there is any updates any information that we need to know yeah and before i bring david ureji urakufieji and i know na oba show you so papa be say ah i don't tell me no no uh minimum germany pan as they said the energy you know a year pan kovi very good evening and welcome to the show and i'll come with us about good evening but you want to say me oh yeah mingu and mass is a yes which in here <laughs> oh no, Medassi, Medassi, Medassi. Um, sent out kind of last from last week, no. Um, but let me let me start by introducing myself. My name is David Ajay. I'm the head of US and Canada growth. Um, and then Aquami, I'm joining Aquami. I did be a weekly show no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I can say you mean number to drink more. Last week we had um a discussion around real estate, and our questions no koyama, not everybody was answered. So then Aquami was kind enough to bring uh, our guest back again. Uh, what's the latest with Tap Tap Send? But America for one, I'm more cold this is yeah, and I'm going to speak for the US. America for more cold this is yeah, and thank you so much for joining our time with Tap Tap Send in the US on Monday. I, we're growing aggressively. Thank you so much for that. But more importantly, but your America, I mean, it's someone to say Texas. Yeah, I can't want to them size. Yeah, I can't say Texas, but launch it, but launch your Texas. And but your Uni Mobile Texas, yeah, get them ready. In just a matter of weeks, Texas should be going live. In Timunia Harbor, Texas is the next state we're about to launch. It's happening almost just in a few weeks. Into that's the latest that we have. Um, outside of that, they're not quite me. I don't want to take too much of the time. Say about yeah, they, time to about Elizabeth and the crew. So we have everybody's questions answered for today. So tap tap send is going to be live, live. A lot of our influencers that we work with, they keep on getting messages from their followers, their fans, when they start up coming to Texas, when they start up. So, in, uh, I, and I also know that there are few people living in Texas who have already downloaded the app. So, in case TapTap goes live in Texas, how will they be? able to know that the app is now live and what's the plan in terms of promotion in texas uh, for tap tap send absolutely great question um the people with existing downloads now that's great similar to what we did in new york we have similar to what we did in new york we have um we have a couple of uh events planned uh pre-launch in zbs and then near Koliva. In about a week or two weeks after the launch, we have something we're doing to build up. Um, I have some concerts. Um, um, you said, I'm not going to mention the concert name because we yet to sign. We have a big Ghanaian artist who's going on tour who's going to go through Texas. It, it will be part of our launch. We have some church events in Texas. We have some. Uh, we have Church of Pentecost in Texas. We have um, another CEM church in Texas. We have a line of idea, a line of events ready for to go as soon as, as soon as Texas goes live. And also our existing fans are more Texas and that are more can prepared. Awesome. So, Busiafua, Moa, America, Nitty to Texas, Munye, ready, tap tap send, Bahon, Mobusayache, Dabena, Moba, Dabena, Moba. Finally, Urakufi, EJ, US growth lead, or semi canche, Muse, in a matter of weeks. Anna, week. Kovi, 
Any moment from now. You see, I'm in train, yeah. and they're kind of going, any moment, maybe train crash home. I need Texas Thank to you. launch. If you have trouble, then Ghana for more Texas, more Houston, Dallas, uh, Houston, Richmond area, Cyprus, when you're ready. Tap, tap, send. It's going to be live very soon in Texas. Yo, Kofi, you better ask it. So I join in. Uh, and then, uh, after the presentation from the First National Bank and also the developer, we will bring you back for us to have focus, tap, tap, send, uh, focus section where we will have uh, discussions on tap, tap, send. So, um, yeah, that's it. I bring you, I bring you now. So, join you. Let me share, Kofi. Thanks so much. Ragofi AJ and no US are brand here. Come on, come on, come up. Kofi, the Akane, the main fan can wait today. Now, you can't wait backstage. Why? Right. So, I was here for more UK, Europe. So, Nyame Ayaduma, on the 15th of July, there's going to be Ghana party in the park festival. And no, and a tap tap send. And Bram, you know, can say last year, you could genemu. This year, so no, you could genemu. We are also planning. Tap tap saying game village, games village ever uh Ghana party in the park where you have the chance to play Ludu or Ware and all those games are na usha na utai e dini be pa pilolo enina ebeho na uh uh ye humni yum pra de yen to me and ye ewa hono in to me me bus I'm saying on see a baby or baby any de en yo and it is say oh plan is say nyame aduma on the fifteenth of July Obe ba Ghana party in the park. Um planning in pa me catcher, bomo de anabra, na yin yina yin shemu, na yin diagro, ewa Ghana party in the park on the fifteenth of July. As times goes on, yeah the more details ebe April. Na me kai ama me kam won su wem se Tata Sen is the official money transfer sponsor of Ghana Party in the Park 20, uh, uh, 2023. And it's the Right. Sabra ye do ye be ko na ye ne first national bank ako chuchin en komo. Na last week en koma on ye e chuchin ye no. Uh, obe ye a summary a recap. Of it now, for your busa questions more. As a first national bank, met try na me a year one developer assign account home. The last week, me didn't bring on a mess I didn't account home. So becoming sir, and no net, you know, me ma o kwain na wabusa more questions are when to me and busa nina last week. But before I introduce Elizabeth to you, I'll go to the studio na producer embody this clip from first national bank they work with a lot of developers across the nation ghana and into baby be our person told them be our but more than not any any more entry get their contact details after this program not any more entry chain come on now what to me at all dying a bim pa open so to a dying at the investment say a year airbnb now person your ghana and now i'm pussy one guys are your dream home that you want to have in any prime location in Ghana, First National Bank are here to help you to do that. I don't see producer, mommy, that uh, tape, you know, from First National Bank. And on the mini Elizabeth Ashi Ebekasa. back a bit into the history of the mortgage market, as far back as the 1950s, when the first Ghana Building Society was established to assist in the mobilization of savings and to extend credit for home purchases. Data from the 2010 population census shows that the mortgage market in Ghana is relatively underdeveloped, with only 0.8% of households financed by a mortgage. As First National Bank, we believe strongly in providing people with the help they need when they need it. And that's why we've built products that suit each need. So we have the home purchase loan, the home owner's loan, the home construction and or completion loan, and the home refinance loan. Over the years, there has been a growth in the mortgage market with First National Bank Ghana leading with about 34% as of 2019. Let's now take a journey and see the amazing developments we have to offer this year.
case of real estate in Ghana, acquiring a property has become number one on the list. Why not get a property from us? Hi, I'm Catherine and welcome to Def Tracker Limited. Here at Def Tracker, we meet the home needs of all interested clients with our two bedroom condominiums, three bedroom semi-detached, three bedroom detached all rooms and suites, and our plush four bedroom houses. We offer you not just a home, but a serene, luxurious, and safe community. Can you put a prize on your safety? Our security team, together with the police and fire service station, give you 24-7 security inside the estates. Your kids get to play at a well-equipped Wonderland playground. For entertainment, our A1 racetrack will rush your adrenaline. We have a pool and a laundry service and a cafeteria and restaurants at your disposal. Call First National Bank for a home loan mortgage that works for you. Def Traco, your ultimate dream brought home to reality. At Saka Homes, we just don't build houses. We build beautiful homes. Introducing to you our newly constructed gated community with three bedroom story buildings located at Westlands, East Legon, and at Dringano. These are contemporary three bedrooms, all in suite with the boys' quarters, guest washroom, air conditioners, and a fully fitted kitchen cabinet. We also provide adequate water supply, 24-hour security, and an efficient estate management service. Get one of our units for a starting price of $250,000. You can also reach out to First National Bank for a mortgage that works for you. Saka Homes, building beautiful homes. and I'm the property manager for Oasis Park Residences and the Gardens Estate. These two properties were championed and masterminded by the CPL developers. Oasis Park Residences is located in East Legon, off the Boundary Road, precisely at the number 15 Adonis Street, and the Gardens Estate is located at East Legon Hills, adjacent the ECG substation. Our unique selling points could very well constitute our choice locations for our properties, our generally affordable prices, and our flexible payment terms. Oasis Park Residences and the Gardens Estate are two of CPL's most iconic properties that have each earned respective praise in the real estate industries. Located in the center of East Legon, Oasis stands as a whopping eight-floor edifice commanding a 360-degree view of the entire city. At the forefront of our unique attributes are our excellent pricing system, our flexible payment terms, and our very choice location for both of these properties. Oasis Park Residences has a wonderful sky bar situated on the eighth floor of the property and an expansive rooftop that can seat about 400 people. Further reiterating CPL's reputation for precision and excellence, these properties have excellent finishing with artifacts from high-end artisans from our local markets, as well as 
choice brands from our European markets. You too can own an apartment at Oasis Park Residences for only $72,250. So what are you waiting for? Call on our partners at First National Bank and let's get started. Right, so that was a video at AFS National Bank April this year in 2021 during their home ownership fair at Omoye, Ewo, Ghana. Uh, uh, we played this video just for you to know the kind of developers that they work with and uh, wherever that you need a property in Ghana, they will be more than happy to assist you for you to be able to acquire property through uh, First National Bank, especially with your mortgage product. And then you may I have uh, the honor to host again Yen sister Elizabeth Ashi, uh, who is a um, business, develop business development analyst at First National Bank. Elizabeth Enumre Okodu Fiena, just a when you light of Kakra in this basset, well, who on video, Mr. Wa, but ye bomb pie as a gun a light in the air, a prepre, enche, a besaya bat. As uh, in the course of the program, that's a light in the bar. You see her live on video. Elizabeth, me ma wa ajumu wakwa wa bajume diyeso. Good evening. How are you doing this evening? I'm good, thanks. How are you too? I'm also doing very, very well. Uh, welcome back to the show once again. Uh, last week, you, you gave us a, an in-depth knowledge about how one can acquire a mortgage through First National Bank. Uh, can you do us a favor to, especially for the benefit of those who couldn't join us last week, if you can give us a recap. And today we want to do more uh, questioning time so we can have time to answer more questions today. Okay. Thank you once again for hosting me. Um, so for the benefits of those who were not available, or let me say those who joined us just this evening, you know, um, I just shared some few of our mortgage products, which is our home loans product, uh, two of them, the basic ones. Um, so the home purchase and then the home construction. And then under home purchase, um, I mentioned the variance of 100% um, financing uh, first time buyer and uh, being doing a home purchase and then buying to let and uh, buying to let that's when an individual is buying a property to generate income or for rental purposes in the no no the bank will um, facilitate uh, property and then you can use the income from the property you know as um part of your monthly repayment. And then also I touched on first time buyer, that is buying your first home, not necessarily a big house, but your first home here in Ghana. Probably you might have a property outside, but owning a home, you can say if you any fee into owning a home here in Ghana, no. Um, if you want to buy your first home, the bank is willing to finance up to a percentage of 80%. Now, I won't so why a minimum deposit of 20% to the owner of the property, either your landlord or uh, a developer, a private vendor, whoever you are buying from. And then we have the home purchase, whereby you are buying a property here in Ghana, which is not your first property, neither is it your um rental property but you are buying another property to live in as well no and the bank no be here up to 80 percent amount and i may mention a hundred percent but um for the target audience here no hundred percent no i might just brush on it ABI, you can share a word to a friend or somebody here in ghana where the person can qualify for up to 100% financing on any deposits at all towards purchase of the property. No, in the bank, no, by 100% financing a And then um, I mentioned 
a home construction and home completion loan where you have your land no na bank no be ye facilitation amal based on your income now they will bill of quantities or they will architectural design or they will building permits be ba na ya ya assessment na amal na um what qualify into now be qualify no na ya amal one year to build and then we spread the mortgage phase no so construction and our completion no that is in two phases so the first phase no a year um the building phase where you have up to one year to build and then the second phase no a mortgage phase no so i mentioned say on the first phase um whatever is given to you the amounts that you draw down is what you you be paying your interest on or whatever is given to you is what do you pay for the first phase no and then we convert it when it's habitable um for you to live in i are spreading it up to a period of um 20 years maximum and a minimum tenure of 5 years so i think um we 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 delved so much into that and in um i i mentioned uh basic requirements which is um your pay slips your bank statements and then your credit reports mostly we rely on experian equifax um done in brass street in some countries and then we have um transunion as well so for the purpose of um non um residents and as a ganian in the diaspora no you furnish us with um credit report from approved sources that the bank is comfortable with so enumni nyina no na ye be consider the aye assessment no the amount and then i mentioned say uh, based on o o income no that is how much the bank will be able to um give you or the will be able to lend you over a period of time and then in that as well we con- we conduct due diligence on every property that uh, we are financing irrespective of um the relationship which we have with a developer or an individual to to ensure that you have a litigation free or there's no encumbrance on the property which we are financing for you know we ensure say one whoever is selling to you, you know has quoted the right value so we conduct valuation and then on the second one no um we do searches and then survey na you who say am pani pana or say all top property na ma na all top property na ma no or no no your right owner sometimes you have um let me say you have a uh, nana or say to two and then there's another nana or say to two uh, maybe nana or say to two junior but to know say the one who we are dealing with no yeah yeah due diligence or the ids in the vendor no they ban or the ids ni ni bibi abeba and then we cross check at land commission we do all those things send a be ya o ko de fie ni mo anko ye o how am mau because the bank has your interest at heart and you say ye mau e sika ni keke say ko na ko da e property mo and then before you retire your facility no we ensure or we make sure on a best effort basis say ye be mau um, you walk away with your either land title uh, your land title certificate na um o buy and because o to e free o bi ho nipa no obema o just an indenture ana ebi ya wakoto asasi wo bi ho a oni akon no betumi ama o just an indenture but the bank will ensure say before you retire your facility no you um when you walk away with um your land title certificate in timi nyina no ena sa nyame na mebobo so ena me ka say to enjoy um competitive rates at our market no so no um you you can approach the bank the flexibility to demonstrate your ability to pay no and also we hold into you know um i touched on um safe to own product uh, yeah, well, where you are giving um the um the opportunity to demonstrate how well you can service your facility for a minimum of 12 months maximum of 24 months and see i think and uh, that is where we ended and then the question started to ping in right yeah that's it for the summary out there am i when it comes to uh mortgages with 
First National Bank. Uh, before set member and go for home crying, uh, almost be able some question. Pacha, so was Zoom, so now fe no are joining here. Yeni, a year, a year nearby. Elizabeth Ashi, a year First National Bank, and a Udini Juma, a bar, a year mortgage is a chess, or who name dear pa, or no, and a numeray, or a beckon home, any education and como when it comes to home ownership in Ghana uh, with First National Bank. And it is what joining here now. Question be a FA mortgages a one, a year nearby, a one hand, Mose, or be ye a no eddy a my. Elizabeth, I answer na member and go for home crying no more. So, I don't question about it. I have one or two questions be for you. Uh, you touched on indenture and uh, land, land title certificate. Uh, a bunny said, me per se, me g a home loan. Now say be a mini land title certificate. I have only indenture. Will I qualify for home loan with First National Bank? Um. Okay. So one, <clears throat> the in, uh, indenture that you have, no, the indenture is just like a, a card which you are going to see a doctor with. Um. It's not. Um. You haven't been diagnosed yet. So the indenture does not say that you are the right owner of the property unless of course you have started registering at the lands commission where they have done some plotting and then you pick coordinates on the site and all that but or walk it to the bank and then you have just an indenture and the indenture is not in your name um assuming say auto free mr boating hua and you also say you say you know you say you say you say i want mr boating demo a horn wound him say, Oh, toffy, Mr. Boatin. So, in any case at all, no, Mr. Boatin can do the transfer to you. But maybe I also say, Oh, to Mr. Boatin, who na ye yes, such is snake who say, A um, Mr. Nathan B. Nadia, then that is where um, it's a bit questionable. Then we have to find out who is this third party in this whole transaction then that means there has been some um some issues about it already at the lands commission in the whole no say yen clarify new who say um indenture now would they buy you know indeed it is your indenture whoever sold to use name should be on the indenture right uh i know so last week you touched on this question but for the purpose of those are ebn and omar joining you know i want to ask again uh i know say Ghanaians living in abroad qualify based on your requirement to apply for home loan and i okay. say uh, mortgages with first national bank what about Ghanaians living in abroad but holding uh baby almost a one passport they are not holding ghana passport are they also qualified um yes they are qualified but um a hono main can they say let me use your name as an example um or say to two abba but i say to two kita um british passports yeah um any other Ghanaian idea I expire and now or anything to prove say he's Ghanaian what are your ties to Ghana if you don't have anything to prove now any honor with the bank can grant you up to 50 percent but if you are able to prove to us say oh um your friend will say to two although I have a British passport no um Miko school or eh, Kumase um me wo old driver's license me wo passport ha, me old Ghanaian passport ha, I expire in Tini so it's sort of um backing you are defending your your case as a Ghanaian in Tia Hono although we know say formally you no know, on paper you no know, you nim say you have a British passport but we know that you have ties to Ghana okay then lastly yeah, because, mm -hmm. yes lastly before say uh member uh man for so home crying about our questions you know uh briefly can you tell us 
the Ebema will be a qualify to be able to apply for this. Then what are the processes, sir? Obit or Modeni Befem. And the Ebema will be a qualify no. Only a kuno or say on submit um the let me say the requisite documents. Inti, we are looking at him or her completing the home loan application form, submitting a passport picture an offer letter or bill of quantities, depending on the product he or she is taking, your proof of address, your credit report, your pay slips, which is three recent months pay slips with its corresponding bank statement, and then um, a copy of either a land title certificate or registered indenture. And no one here, they assessment amount from the onset, what they sign your money back, yeah, um, the process starts. So from then, within 48 hours, you, know, you receive a letter of intent, which is officially communicating to you, Sam, um, we have received your document and it's about to be processed. So on the letter of intent, you no, know, although it's not binding, but it's just going to give you an illustration of how much you may qualify for your likely monthly repayments, the interest rate, the tenor which you 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 you'll be qualifying for based on your age and all that and um, that is where after 48 hours you no know, you should receive your uh, letter of intent from the bank and then from there it proceeds to our credit unit where they do the analysis the credit checks the risk and everything involved and then we conduct our due diligence that is when where once you have received your approval once you receive approval and then it goes for due diligence conduction you no know, a you know now if all reports submitted are satisfactory, then we proceed to do your, you proceed to sign your mortgage agreement and then um, whatever is stated, the terms, conditions stated on your facility letter, no, it has to be fulfilled. Now you hear disbursement. In the in and out of all this, no, it takes an average of, every case is pe um, peculiar. In the no, no, dear, mean to me, um, mean can I say, um, Averagely, you know, a bit to me take you three months. Mm. But within 20 working days, you should receive your um, approval from the bank. So once you receive your approval, then you know that you are done with one head or you are, you are, you are about to cross, you are moving to the next stage. So that is where we go to lands commission. We involve our third party service providers and all that. You know, to me, I a BBA and I who say a quino a for disbursement. Right. Yo, Medasi, uh Meba Honomo A Biemu na Mama and Kofonso Hong Kwai no more Ebusa question. Uh before say maybe a quiet to her no more for uh questioning time no uh mame any Elizabeth or Hine on so a property developer a wo or my ganemu or my or joining in last week or my a brief summary of what or presented to us last week now for you be acquiring to all the questions no uh and to me and start the inflow what question be answer who call a year chat room on my what it's your number elizabeth need team or a chat room on my wow all the contact details on here you know with me and your honor into sabre my main for elizabeth ohini a property developer ceo for uh brick and wood Properties. Elizabeth, Memo, Ajuma, Akaba, BM, Adeo, Eba, Jumadieso. Hi, Prince. Thank you. Thank you once again. Major also. <laughs> How Thank are you doing? Nice. I'm one. good. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. I'm so, um, can you, yeah, can you briefly tell us uh, a bit about Brick and Wood Properties, your new property, uh, your new project that you are doing, and how one can Maybe you'll be pursuing a third dying through more, or a bit me a third dying with brick and wood. Great, great, great! Once again, thank you for having me. Um, to make life easy for both of us and our listeners, no, I'm just going to put a video on the screen, and so I will just be showcasing the project whilst I take you through what the project is about, and then the price and the payment. And so now let me just share my screen once again if okay if that's okay yeah it's okay um i don't think i have the you have the uh right to share, share. Yeah. yeah yeah okay
So this is the video, and this is uh, a four bedroom and a three bedroom, seven unit at East Legon Hills. It's a gated community that has a, a, a gym, um, 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 how do you call it, a working area, and, you know, um, security system. And so the whole idea behind this is to have a, what we will say, um, a mini community. Of course, for a bit, but I just want to walk you through the idea. So we are going to have like a mini community that has seven um, houses, and it's going to be three bedroom, four bedroom, like we already discussed last week. And uh, four bedroom, the four bedroom has a total space of 368.3 square meters. The three bedroom has 210 and then 207. And so for the three bedroom, you know, we have three bedrooms semi-detached and then we have three bedroom detached. Now, part of the things that are going to come with the property is the it's a gated community, like I said, has 247 security, has a fitted kitchen, which means that the kitchen is ready to use. You have your free car parking space, property management, backup water and electricity supply. You have an electric gate and fencing, sensor front door and many other things. And this is, is Ligon Hills in itself. It's close to um, East Ligon, which is Adrengano. So it's just the area after Adrengano. It's about 50 minutes from Tema, 25 minutes from Akramo, 30 minutes from the International Airport. We have the prices starting from as low as $135,000. But I also have it, you can convert it. You know, the last time, not the other gentleman was asking that, why don't we put it in CDs? And I tried to explain one or two reasons, but you can just convert this amount into dollar, pounds, CD, whichever one is comfortable for you. The prices are starting from 135,000 for a three bedroom. And then we have a payment option that extends up to 18 months. We also have the mortgage option. And so you can use um, First National Bank if um, they are comfortable for you. How do you own a unit? So to show an interest, you own, you make a deposit of 5,000 or 4,000, $5,000 and 4,000 pounds a year. Um, reservation fee to show that, you know, you are interested and you would like to um, own a unit. And so I, I'm going back to the video to just show you how the property is going to look like. And so these units here are four bedrooms. On this side, you have your parking. And one thing I was saying is if you want your unit to be demarcated, or separated, as you can see, we can have, you know, um, wall system, um, planting system, whatever way to give you that privacy you are looking for. That's if you want. It also has a gym. So the, the apartment on the right is a gym. And then you have a working area on top of your gym. And so they are fairly say, you know, you don't want to work at home. You don't want to be inside. You can just come out here and work. This side, what do you see here now? is the three bedrooms. Let me... Sorry, yeah. So this, this side is the three bedrooms. This is the semi-detached three bedroom. And what is at the far right is the three bedroom detached. So yes, currently we are at the first floor. Let me just, I, I always like to you know, show pictures because you know exactly what we are doing instead of just talking. So I always like to show you pictures. And to, let me just show you where we are now. So that, yeah. So this is where we are now. We are currently on the first floor. If you want to own a unit, um, please reach out. I will leave our contact details if you want to own any unit, kindly call us, email us. Um, let's see.
payment plan, like I said, the payment plan goes all the way to 18 months, even though the property will be finished before then. But if you want to go more than 18 months, then yes, you can reach out to First National Bank for a mortgage. Right. Thank you very much, Elizabeth Ohine. I was for Sabre or any question be a Emma First National Bank and answer Elizabeth a quine or honor or my own sasso a was zoom nesua a mefau na o question or no or the abba se chat room honso and our pese or the question a fan so a hair and on so bit media for honor more ye were in your anom a honor more or monson no ebit me answer nina a de amal may you call zoom nesu na yam fa doctor Ben Edu doc. Good evening. Now meet yourself and uh, ask your question. Doc, what you are saying, you know, it sounds so sweet in my ears, but you have muted yourself. So unmute yourself. Still, so, you are on mute. That's a question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's, I can hear you now. Okay, so uh, uh, so my question is to uh, uh, Elizabeth Ohine. So uh, you said that uh, your unit starts from one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. Is it for the for the two bedrooms, three bedrooms, or the four bedrooms? You, uh, you didn't provide my details on it. If you can, that would be nice. Okay, great. The one hundred thirty-five thousand is for the three bedroom semi-detached. Into the actual price is one hundred and fifty thousand, but there's a promotion going on. Which gives you a ten percent off for one or two terms and conditions. But if you reach out to us, we'll be able to explain and if you fall within that category. Then yes, you can buy the three bedroom semi detached for one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars. And and what about the four bedroom? The four bedroom is starting from one hundred and eighty five thousand dollars. And is there a promo on that one too, or there's no promo? Yes, yes, it's uh, there's a ten percent. That, uh, that will bring it. That, that will bring it down. Yes, yes, yes. Ten okay. percent. Right. Uh, uh, almost at one seven something. <laughs> almost okay. even five, which is a good amount. Yes. Uh, um, uh, uh, all right. And then, and then my, my my question is, uh, in the community, the, the community where this been this is being built at, are the roads to the to the uh, to the property uh, like paved or it, or, or they are working on it? Or, or how is that going to work? So the from the junction to our side, maybe a little bit to the development start, but because we are there right in front of us, it's not hard because we are still constructing. And so we have heavy duty cars coming on. But as soon as we are done with our development, we are tying the road. But apart okay. from that, we, you have a good road um, network. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yo, I was here for our oh, question. Be I also obey me a man as I zoom no so me foul na or the question about either for uh first national bank and I say a year uh brick and wood properties. Obey me a do question about uh, uh whilst we are waiting, Mammy Mbusa uh, Elizabeth or Hine, in terms of security wise area, Hono, I know have been there, but for those. I almost eighty and I almost here and then no. At the end, I wait me I can to assure us because the annual material which is security one sem a here in pan. In the what can you say to assure us say that area is uh, safe and secured? Right, right, right. Thank you for that question. Um, first of all, is in an estate. Let me make that clear. Into East Ligon Hills is a very big place, but there is the estate part of East Ligon Hills. And this development is in an estate. And so it's an estate in an estate. Um, right as you enter into the estate, there's a police station in the estate. In fact, there's two. There's one in front and there's one at the back. A ball around 5, 6, Biana, we have a, a police barrier, just making sure that everybody's okay. And coming to the development, we've not had any case or any complaint around where the development is so far. But just so you know, like you said, we make sure that our clients are extra secure. We have two four seven security from G four X. That that is our partnering security. And if you check on G four X, you see that they are one of the best security companies in Ghana. 
and you also have um sensor door and so obifa we name kakara you know you are hinted that okay something is happening outside my my house we also have um electricity fencing and so i don't think anybody can jump into the house and even with that we have cctv cameras and we have someone monitoring it every time into your security in that area it's safe and one of the things is because of community living and nothing that you if you check the development we don't have a lot of walls it's for community living we want a neighbor to be a neighbor's keeper and so we say it's a community at home yeah so your security is guaranteed Security is guaranteed. Thank you very much, uh, Mami and Co. First National Bank and so uh, on. Elizabeth, uh, can you also tell us a bit about uh, when it comes to insurance? Uh, is there anything that we need to know about your mortgages and insurance issues? Um, all right. Thank you for this question. Um, for our mortgages, no, your wall. Um, as part of pre disbursement conditions, you know, or say one year, um, life and property insurance. And the life is not compulsory, but for the benefit of you, the individual, now, nah, or talk property, you know, and then what would you mortgage, you know, it will be good for you to do a life insurance. Senebeya, should anything happen, so permanent disability or death, you no. Know, if you are still on cover, no, your insurance company will, will pay off your mortgage for you. That is if you are still on cover. And then you have the property insurance as well. So for property insurance, no, I know you're 0.15% of the reinstatement value. And no, no, ABI may come. It's just um, a percentage of um, the property value you pay so that should anything happen to the property, it will be built to um, a reinstated um, stage for you. Senebeya, you will not lose the property at all, but that is if you are on cover. So these are the two um, insurance um, policies which you have to take. And then um, in addition to that, you say, Ebia will be our line of our residents here in Ghana. And then the person wants to do a 100% financing. Uh, there's a third one, which is uh, termed as the collateral replacement indemnity. So you'll be insuring 30% of the value of the property. And then the bank will finance 100% for you. But you have to do your life and your property insurance. So those are the basic ones. So life is um is not compulsory and but property is non-negotiable. So you have to do your property insurance. Thank you. Thank you too. Uh my main call back to Dr. Ben Edu Ehonomo na on sign and find a question. Doc, so also uh zoom no so now or any question via a kind of or mouse as well. Mefro, then you ask your question. Doc. Yeah, too. Uh, um, uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, this one goes to uh, uh, FNG Bank. Uh, so my question is with uh, with a credit. Uh, you said in the application you guys look at credit scores. Uh, Mofa credit scores name free US as in and say how do you do you all, do you, all, do you all have your own ones that you guys uh, generate from based on the application and uh, that is my first question. And then the second question here. And, and then life insurance and the property insurance, you know, if, if somebody already has a life insurance here, do you, is it going to be acceptable? And the property insurance, and I know say you guys are going to demand that it should be taken from, from, uh, from Ghana. But then do you have stipulated companies that the person has to go with or the person is, uh, the, the person has the option to choose, uh, to choose any company that they want to go with uh, uh, to satisfy the property insurance? You know? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, doctor, thank you. So um, on the first one, which is your uh, inquiry on the credit report, you know, so uh, when I started, I mentioned that the credit report has to be from you, we, because we don't have access to your credit details, you, know, you have to spool that data from us, from either Experian or Equifax or TransUnion or Karma or uh, Dan and Bradstreet, wherever you find yourself, um, because um we have applicants from all over globally, in T say oh 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 um 
o pese on on own generate credit report in my area. So these are the few that we, we do trust the sources of um, the reports which come to us. And then on the other hand, um, you, are, you are inquiring about um, the life and then the property insurance. If you have life insurance, um, at the time of doing your life insurance, probably um, the mortgage was not factored. So it has to be factored. If your insurance company is, is going to, or your policy provider is going to cover your mortgage, which is the life, then that is fine. But if not, um, then you have to do it here. But like I mentioned, life is not compulsory. Property is compulsory. And then for the property, we give you a bouquet of um of um, insurance companies here to choose from where they can do your underwriting and then they give you a premium and then you compare and choose from whichever one sits or works best for you. Oh, okay, thank you for, uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, a follow-up question to that. Uh, a friend is saying the, the credit score, do you have a, a minimum credit score that you guys are going to accept or, or there's no cutoff, you just have to see See it, and I said, "Oh, baby, on my back." I said, "Okay, if this person has a, a credit score of lower than this, then that person is not even in the consideration." Okay, so if you have a um a bad credit, or let me say your credit history is not good, then obviously we'll have to raise some questions. What accounted to that? Maybe somebody lost their job. Something happened, and um, that's why the person's rating is bad. But Usually we do an in-depth analysis of whatever you have submitted to us. There are some which um, um, they have contested and then they spool the data from either a different source and then they bring it and we realize that, um, okay, so what has been submitted, the initial one and the current one, and probably the current one um, supersedes what was submitted to us. So we are looking at your credit history. That is one. How bad is it? Is it is it that bad that we can't work with? If it's that bad, then we can give you the option of doing a safe to own where we give you the um, opportunity to demonstrate that indeed um, probably something happened. There are some um, occurrences which you don't have, um, you can't control. So if something of that sort happens, then the bank is giving you that opportunity to demonstrate that indeed you can service your facility without late um, late payments, maybe 90 days. There are some that are um, consistent. Maybe they have like um, 12 accounts. And then out of those 12 accounts, nine or 10 of them are bad. Some have gone into recoveries. Some are 180, 190, um, 180, 150, 120, 90 days late payment. When we take all those things into consideration, when, when it happens that way, you are considered a high-risk client. So sometimes you're giving, we are giving you the opportunity or we give you the opportunity to explain how it happened. If it's acceptable to our credit committee, then we can go ahead. If it's not acceptable, then we can give you the opportunity to do a safe to own. But if not, then probably the uh, um, application might not be approved. Uh, uh, thank you very much for for taking the time to to answer to answer the question. And uh, and then with your with your mortgage loans, my last question: Do, do you guys do you have do you guys have like? Uh, a prepayment penalties, like early payment penalties. If the person is signed for maybe a 10 years and the person want to pay it off early before the 10 years, is there a penalty for paying it off early than the agreed contract? Uh, um, yes, please. So the penalty is very, let me say, it might be just salt in the sea. Um, <laughs> let me say um, assault in the sea the for penalty FMP is 0.25 percent oh okay the penalty for pay paying it off early is 0.25 percent okay that's not that's not 0.25 percent so assuming so assuming um your outstanding principal balance is a hundred thousand what you are paying as penalty is only 250 okay that's okay, and, and so that is gonna be so that is gonna be on the outstanding principal balance, but not the entire loan that a person took, right? 
not on the entire loan. It's only on the outstanding principal balance. Okay. Uh, okay, then then that's not bad. Then you can even be the system. You wait till you only owe a thousand dollars, and then that is when you pay it all off. <laughs> Don't worry about that. If you have any other question, you can come back later on. Yanko, uh, Patrick, right. uh, Manfu, uh, hold on. Patrick, unmute yourself and ask your question, please. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever everybody is. Um, my question is, uh, no, I want to be clear with the life insurance. I don't think you're talking about life insurance as life insurance, or you're talking about the mortgage life insurance. These are two ent different entities, as the doctor was asking. Because the life insurance, somebody might have a life insurance of about, let me say, let me say those in the diaspora, just about funeral expenses, life insurance for about $30,000 or 50,000 pounds. That won't cover the mortgage. But if you have a mortgage insurance, it's covered. When something happens, it covers the, the whole mortgage. Uh, I just want to be clear on that side. Like okay, that. Patrick, thank you for your question. So it's a mortgage life insurance, which is renewed annu uh, annually. So if you take the facility, that, that life insurance is covering you and then the mortgage which you have taken. So should anything happen to you, permanent disability or loss of life, the insurance company will pay that off for you. That is if you are still on cover. But if it happens that something happens and you are not on cover, then your family will have to bear the payments to um, completion or to retirement. Patrick, you are on mute. So if you have any follow-up uh, question, you can unmute yourself. Oh, sorry. Um, so far as you, you obtain or you have a mortgage insurance, I think there will be no uh, discrepancies or anything when something happens, whereby you're going to go with your, like the family is going to take the rest of the, uh, I don't know how, how to put it. Because if you have a life insurance poly, uh, coverage, it is covered. And if you default in the payment, that's when, uh, if something happens, the insurance doesn't cover. But so far as you are doing your payments, your monthly payments, uh, and anything happens, then uh, you are totally covered. Somebody who is not covered will not be on the policy. My meal is bad. Okay, so Patrick, yes, please. Patrick, so um, like I mentioned, you have to be on cover and the insurance, the life insurance is renewed annually. So if you are not on cover, that is where you find yourself one thing. Okay, thank you All very right. much. Please do you get it, please. Yes, I do. Thank you very much, Patrick, for your question. Um, can we take our iPhone, iPhone, or meet yourself and ask your question? <laughs> iPhone, please omit yourself and ask the question. Uh, and as an iPhone, who names it? Who get the iPhone? The only young called Doctor, uh, Doctor Honon. Doc, iPhone. Yes, yes, so bad. So bad. Hold on, hold on, Patrick. Uh, hold on. Uh, Doc, hold on. My own say iPhone are on meeting. You know. iPhone, please unmute yourself and ask your question. All right, cool. Let's move on to Doc. I think say iPhone on you ready. I have to, I have two questions. One is for uh, 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 the, at the bank. So so how long is your mortgage contract terms? Is it is it 15, 30 years, 10 years, five years? Uh, how long is your contract term? That is the first question. The second question um, is a minimum. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Please go ahead. Let me. And, and the second one is uh, 
how long does somebody can somebody make a payment before you guys uh, uh, start a foreclosure process? Okay, so um, the minimum tenor for the mortgage is five years and maximum is 20 years, but that is depending on the applicant's age. If you are 50 years and you walk into the bank today as a non-resident, then you can qualify for up to 15 years. If you are 40 years and you 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 want to take um, a 20 year tenor, you obviously qualify for it. So the maximum tenor which we give to non residents is 20 years. Um, uh, for all applicants, is 20 years, but for non residents, the caveat for the age is 65 years. And then um, the second question again, please. So uh, 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 how long can somebody miss a payment like before you, you start foreclosure okay. process, a process for you to reclaim the foreclosure payment. process. So um, foreclosure does not happen overnight. It takes a while before um, the court or you can get a judgment to start a foreclosure process. Before it gets there, and um, once you miss your payment, your first three months, so first month you are delinquent, second you are delinquent. After the third month, then you have started defaulting. And okay. once you default, before it gets there, um, our team will approach you with either a, um, um, a phone calls or emails to know why probably you are late or you are behind on payments. If you have um, the opportunity. We give you the opportunity to either do a restructure or to go on a payment holiday, which you are entitled to enjoy just once during the entire servicing of your facility. Um, if it happens that there is no communication at all from your end, then that is when it has to start. So it goes to it goes through processes, lawyers will get involved before it gets to the court, and then the court can give the verdict for us to do or start with a foreclosure. Sometimes some clients also are not able to keep up with their payments. Probably they've lost their job for for number of years or number of months, and they are not able to um, service their facility. So they will um, voluntarily walk to the bank to... Um, request for a foreclosure to process to start, or probably they might say, I, I, if you can sell my property for me, and then I'll use the difference to settle off the facility and then um, maybe get some money out of it. That's fine. But foreclosure doesn't happen overnight. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate you taking the, the time to uh, answer this question. Uh, so my, my question You're is welcome. for... The, my other question is for uh, Brick and Wood. So if someone signs a contract today and then pays their $5,000, the, the, uh, the commitment fee of the $5,000, how long is it going to take for the, for the person to acquire the property? And, and then the question, my question is, do the person, so let's say the person wants to go with a mortgage from, from, from the first national bank, is, uh, do you guys take the payment from first national bank when the property is completed fully completed for the person to move in or you're going to take some of the money down the line uh, from if uh, assuming the person has a mortgage approved by first national bank you guys are going to take some of the money down the line uh, to uh, to finish or or, or or how does the process works for you if you uh, based on your previous uh, experience dealing with clients that take mortgage from the bank if you can es explain on that because i'm a person of numbers and depending on okay. when when you guys take the money, that is when the compound interest on that 13 point something percent starts. So. Okay, doctor, um, thank you very much for your question. So for your first question, which is how long it takes to what acquire the property after you yes, pay once the, the Yeah, after you pay the, the, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the commitment fee. Or the okay, deposit. let me break it down. So the $5,000 is like um, usually what they call like an intention to buy. So intention, like yeah. Through, your commitment or your seriousness to buy but after that you know there's a 30 percent deposit which comes after your five percent deposit even if you are using a um, mortgage when the mortgage is not 100 percent, you still have to make a commitment of 30 percent 
and see it's after the 30 percent that you know the property in a way is officially not officially yours but at least that is more than just a reservation into the duration for the building is 12 months or at most 18 months let me just put it at 18 months and that is why the payment duration is up to 18 months so that you can take your time and pay and so you move in or you get your documentations when you have done paying. So if you take the whole 18 months to pay, then you are going to get documentations after 18 months. If you, but you get an SPA or an, so the first thing is an offer letter to show that, okay, this is the agreement between us, just in case, just so that the numbers will not change in future. So we give you an offer letter and then we start preparing a sales and purchase agreement, which is the SPA. And that one has more details on the payment plan, how you intend to pay. But when it comes to the documentation on the land and the house itself, which is the indenture, the indenture is the contract between you and the company to show that we are selling something to you. The land title is what gives you rights over the space of land you are occupying. That will only come to you when you are done. That's a 100% payment before you get that. On the, uh, second, okay. um, the second one, which is the mortgage and how it's going to work, that will mostly depend on the bank you are using because um, I know some banks don't do off-plan properties. They want to see a ready property because they want to evaluate it. Like, is this up to the amount? But I also know that um, some people do. And let's say you are using First National Bank, then this would be Elizabeth's question. If they do um, off-plan, it means that, yes, they can start processing your mortgage after you've made your 30 percent or i don't know how it works with them but she will she's here so she'll clarify that and see uh, after uh, you're done with that, your 30 percent payment then we will give them the necessary document they need to show that this is a credible property and then they will you know give um offer you your mortgage if you're if you qualify but about whether they will give it to you as it's off plan or a ready property that um i'll have elizabeth clarify that Okay, sounds good. A, a follow-up question. So to, just to just to clarify, right? Okay. So the the the, uh, the duration of the uh, the duration from start to finish, uh, in your example, like the eighteen months, it start from the day that the thirty percent is received, right? Um, for payment, yes, it start from the day the thirty percent is received. But for construction, construction has already started, and we are currently about to flow the first floor. So we might we are likely to finish before you are even done paying. Yeah. Okay. So so basically, so, so so I'm talking about the individual. So the individual is is will only be able to acquire the property. So but my, because the question that I'm trying to ask is, if you say 18 months, let's say somebody doesn't want to go with a mortgage, but that person want to pay or pay it off within the 18 yeah. months. So and then the person pays, keep paying, keep paying, and is not able to hit the 18 months before uh, we start able to make the entire payment within that 18 months then uh, then what happens you, you you give the person an extension to keep paying to in order to get a property or or, or how that, that how does that process work okay so i mean we hope and pray that it doesn't get to that extent but um usually anything can, anything can happen I know, I know, but usually, you know, you see, it's a it's a sales and it's a human relationship. We don't want the property; we want to sell it to you. And so, if something happened, um, your commitment in the previous eighteen months will determine if you are, you know, willing to go further. If you've been committed all this while, not your friend said the next three or six months, economy things are not so well for you because the economy can change. Then yes, why not? We will work something out, something that is more comfortable. That is why we don't give a fixed amount for client to pay. We make sure that any amount you are paying monthly is something you are comfortable with, so that we don't stress you too much. But yeah, beyond eighteen months, you feel like um okay at this point in time, Mr. Kentimiamba, can we extend it? Yeah. We can definitely work on an extension for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to Doc for your questions and your follow-ups. Uh, let's move on to Charlotte. Charlotte, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, I have a question for Elizabeth Ohene. I want her okay. to know what comes in the house. Yeah, like 
He said, she said fitted kitchen. So what is in the kitchen? Microwave, uh, they have like dishwasher and everything in there, or you have to bring your own where you get the homes. Um, hi, Shalo, thank you for your question. So fitted kitchen means that you don't have to bring anything to the kitchen, but if you check the SPA, you will see exactly what comes in. See, maybe we are not providing you with something that's peculiar to you, then you can bring it. But what is there is the, the fridge, the microwave, the cooker, um, the oven, the extractor, and the cabinet. And so it doesn't come with bowls and <laughs> maybe and, uh, and you know all of those luxuries. And you know, those are things you will have to bring along. But something that will give you a comfortable kitchen where you can you'll be able to, you know, um I mean leave a comfortable home is there. I would yeah, like, okay. I mean, you can reach out to me and then I'll take you through exactly what you see in the kitchen. If you want something more and we can um, put it in there, if it's not something big, it, it will not affect the price. But if it's too much, then we can work it out. All right. Thank you. Thank you too. All right. Uh, then let me do this follow-up question uh, to Elizabeth uh, Ohine. Elizabeth, uh, there are some properties that the uh, property developers will say finished or unfinished. Yours, is it finished or unfinished? If it's finished, what is in, not just the kitchen, but what is in the property when it's finished? Or if it's unfinished, what do we need to know? Okay, ours is semi-finished. Um, it's not furnished. Let me correct that because yeah, now I think it confuses people a lot. When you talk about furnishing, you're thinking about curtain and you know the sofa and all of that. It's not furnished, but it is finished okay. and it's semi-finished okay. because it comes with AC and it comes with a fully fitted kitchen, which means okay. that uh pam by a crowd to medium comfortably. Okay. And you know, yeah. So it's finished because it has um ready to use um all in suits, um bathrooms guest washroom all of that acs and then yeah a ready kitchen okay thank you very much uh let me go back to uh elizabeth ashi from first national bank um you made mention of uh, equity release uh products be a more loan uh, can you tell us a bit more about this equity release uh loan uh is it on a property in abroad or a property in Ghana? Okay, thanks for your question. Um, equity release is for properties here in Ghana, in oh, okay. or oh, property here in Ghana, and then you intend buying another property, or you intend, assuming you want to buy one of Elizabeth O'Hane's properties, and then only deposit in Anabia. Or buy a payment plan amount. It's open say unje kakra na niaka no na wa wodi asoso amana. Then you can use that property as a collateral, and then we assess you. Sorry, uh, your your line has dropped a bit. So what well, can... the bank can lend is up to seventy two will be based on your. Now you yeah, are spreading over it from um, twenty time no. Um, in this other time no, ni a ibe to mi a ye ni se ye be assess you. All the was uh, wo pay slips wo bank statements ni wo ni ame ni na ame ba in this just like all the other um products no. Ni a ibe hi ane um wo pay slips your bank statements your credit report and then you give us a purpose of what you are going to use the funds for. So in this case no se be a. Elizabeth Lyon, I drop it a beam. Um, Elizabeth, go ahead. Your line dropped a bit. Yes, please. Sorry about that. In the ABA, or either offer letter, Beba, and now, um, ABA Yankan is say, or they could settle medical bills, and now they could expand their business. So business expansion, ABA could talk goods into the country. So you submit your invoices, ABA, ABA, so what they call your medical bills, so what they could hear some medical bills. So you attack all that. And then the bank. So the property has to be like there are certain things. 
So the property has to be here in Ghana and yeah. not outside the country. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for that clarification. Let's move on to Felix. Felix, I'll meet yourself and ask your question, please. Yeah, hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, so my question is to the, the lady from the, the real estate company. Uh, just a quick one. So I know it's an off plan, uh, but you, you seem to have progressed quite a bit. Uh, let's say if we were at the preliminary stage or something, does uh, do you give opportunity for let's say the buyer to have of a particular unit to have any sort of uh, stay in specific things that they want? Maybe they want this particular kind of fixture or that kind of fixture, or they want a particular setup. Do they have any kind of other instances where you give them any opportunity to kind of uh, should I say customize how they want something? peculiar with their unit. Hi, Felix. Thanks for your question. Yes. So the whole idea for selling off plan is so that you will be able to include you in there. So yes, we do allow. Just last week, someone asked for a rooftop terrace. And so one of the units to come with it, a terrace. So that's the advantage of, of having an off plan. Like I said, if the changes you want it's is it's more than um, what we have factored in our pricing, then yeah. yes, it comes with an extra cost. But if it's okay, really, sense, yeah. um, what we already thought of doing is just that it's a different type, then it doesn't yeah. come at an extra cost. Again, the changes will, will not have to be very different from the plan because you see, we take it to permits to give us um, approval. Approvals. Every okay. land has the kind of um, building you can build on. It's, you know, we cannot take something, get it approved and come and change it on site. If it's too much, okay. we cannot do anything. And that's beyond okay. that. So something reasonable, basically. Okay. Something reasonable, uh, yes. Okay. And then my second question is, uh, we, we, uh, the, there might be an instance, maybe in your in your case, no, not necessarily in your case, I mean, whereby, let's say, the builder also delays in terms of delivery of the project. You're estimating, say, 18 months, but then there are things we don't have control of in terms of the market with material and, you know, all other bits. What if, you guys are also able to kind of meet your end of the bargain in terms of delivery within that 18 months. But say I've gone, I've already approached a, a lender, say FNB, and taken out a mortgage and the clock is already ticking on my side. So how, how does it work for the for the buyer in this instance? What do you kind of do to kind of make up for that delay? Okay. So for the development, like you said, I'm happy you said we've already made progress. The ideal completion is 12 months, but just because there may be instances where, you know, things we cannot control, I extended it to 18 months. So it's a plus six months to factor in any unforeseen circumstances. And with you going for loan, no? that's how, what I was saying. Some people, some banks, because of these circumstances, they don't give loan for an off-plan property. So you you have to ask your bank if this is okay with them that uh, it's it's an off plan property. Sometimes they will give you because they check the credibility of the developer, and then you know okay we've worked with these people before, so we 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 can able to bank on um, you know trust. But um, apart from that, um, there's nothing more we can do. That's why we have already factored in the six months. Within six months, we believe whatever it is should be able to be resolved. Unless it's a natural disaster beyond our control, then we have to pay you back. So uh, if in my, to my understanding or in my understanding, uh, uh, you guys sort of uh, guaranteeing delivery within the 18 months on one side, all things being equal. And then yes. you are presupposing that the, the associated risk with whatever delay will be borne by the bank that commits to doing off plans. So, yeah. No, the, the risk or in terms of any delay is not borne by the bank, it's borne by us. So if, if it goes beyond the 18 months we agreed on, then we will have to we have to find a way to settle the dispute. Either we pay you back, either you allow us to continue building for you. But that's like a dispute settlement. So I can't say this is exactly what we do until you... Okay, it'll be a case by case, basically. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Understood. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Hey, Bacho, you have got Doc Ahonomo. Doc, I sign a question for fraud. Doc, Bacho, I'll meet yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bacho, we still go for a FNB bank now. 
um, uh, the question is, if somebody uh, applies for a mortgage loan, uh, 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 how long uh, do you guys hold? So this is like looking at properties that we are looking at uh, 18 months maximum after the completion of, uh, after you make the initial payment of the 30% deposit. So let's say I apply for a loan from, from FNB Bank uh, today, and I make my 30% deposit, and it takes like FNB three months to or three months to approve, but then the property is not ready. How long is the loan good for? Um, whilst I wait for for the for the builder to complete the building before uh, the, the the bank pays the bill pays the builder. Okay, so um, for that, mostly we disperse only when the property is ready. And in this instance, whereby the the property is not ready, you know, and um, we'll wait till it is completed. Ebin um, um, facility letter, no, the facility letter which you have. Every facility letter has a tenor or it has an expiry date. Maximum is one year. So after one year. If the property is not completed, then we'll have to review your facility. And with the review, that means you have to submit um, most recent pay slips, most recent bank statements, and then your credit reports. And then in that as well, we conduct due diligence. Um, for due diligence, no, it is reviewed um, every six months. In TBI, I could conduct a search on the property when the property was not ready now. After six months, or let's say after a year, no, we'll, we'll have to go back to it again to, to make our check and ensure, say, whatever we found initially is still the same thing. It tallies with what is on ground at the moment. And the overall facility letter, which has one year to expire, but your property is expiring, uh, will be completed in 18 months now. And your honor, when the property is complete, you know, then We'll have to do a review on your um your property your uh, mortgage uh, application okay madam, madam madam elizabeth thank you so much so so to uh, to to to, uh, to clarify you now mm -hmm. send my fnb approval loan amamia the loan is good for 12 months is that what you're saying the facility letter or the offer which has been given to you has an expiry of 12 months so after so that's 12 what I'm months that's that's what I'm saying, saying to say, and then so my approval now, my fans and my approval, me and I'm gonna say, Mama, Mama, my facility letter now, it means that I can buy a property now. That letter is good for 12 months, right? That is what yeah. you mean. Yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. That is that is amazing. That is that is nice, right? right. So, Madam Elizabeth, I'm gonna make follow up question to you on what Mr. Felix asked. Can I say, so then if you are not done in 18 months now, then you who to your sicana, let's say I pay the money. On my own, so I'm at two and a car and a car and I'm at two and a year now. Eighteen months now, so what's the moment for the car? Man, eh, move your property now. Kone bra, kone bra. Ghana and Sudan, you need to kone bra, kone bra. It's not happening. Now, move two and a car, man. Are you going to pay it with interest uh, or what? And what interest rate? And then, ha has there been instances like that since you started? You started uh, doing this. Thank you so much. Um, doctor, um, th thank you so much for your question. No, I've I've never had any instance like that so if i get oh. the question right you're asking say what if we are not able to finish the property within 18 months is that the question yes and then yeah. if you are you, you told mr felix said that then then there can be an, an, an arbitration and the money paid back so the arbitration you know means we do one of my meeting i can say means we and you move your back and you have a treasury <laughs> interest rate. i mean yes i i brought arbitration because i said natural disaster because in that case, you know, it's something beyond us. But okay. usually, you know, um, the reason why properties are not uh, finished, the period they say they will finish is either one, it has a land problem, or two, there's no money to build it. So if you, the buyer, is not paying what you're supposed to pay for us to build the property, then um, we, we can't continue. And if there's a land dispute, that's why before you buy any property or you intend to buy, you do your land search and make sure that there's no problem. But if there is no land issue and there's no money issue, then nothing stops the developer from 
completing no, it. I'm, no, I'm talking about more, I'm talking about the more, more estates and more, more, more. We have not had anything like that. And like I said, even before people have committed, and we have already committed and we are almost uh, flowing the top floor. It shows that we are committed to the project we are doing. We are not waiting for people to complete buying before we start. And like I said, it's going to be at the shell level. By the next two months, we'll be done with the top floor and we'll move on to oh. plastering. So oh. Oh, okay. by the day, I'm talking to you again, maybe you can even move into your property. Oh, <laughs> sounds good then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Zemi Unity, the Mumbo Modena, a Hong Kong, a Abruci for a corner, so I say. All right, um, Mami Embusa, Mami Embusa, um, your friend is a Elizabeth from FMB Bank. Somebody was asking, say, uh, how do you certify a credit reporter? Yeah, the fee abruci abase the right thing that will be at the abram. Muya dena mu aye mu checks on that. So um credit reports are a month for the SABT MI. That is why I mentioned say there are approved sources which or let me say trusted sources are. Yeah, yeah, jet credit reports from Sanye Bia or the credit reports because sometimes no um, say some payments there might be maybe a credit card payment, there might be some um maybe a loan or something, some payments which are on the credit reports, some are likely to appear on your bank statements. And say all the credit reports but not there's nothing at all showing on it. And now there's some disparity on the statements and then the credit reports. Now then it's a red flag. But why will a client or an applicant submit a fake credit report? It's it's <laughs> it's bound to happen. But in this instance, no, we 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 do our checks to ensure that niawo di abano a a right. I said to to me ma was repa. O can say in binana for one of one so whole internet will be busa say mo yede na mo check him say credit reporter only back with the abey eh correct a bia only back right now okay oh yeah mamie fancy ya Elizabeth mamie busa me follow up question my my next question will be say um I know last week you touch on it but what are the locations ah uh, so will be a by FMB so or Pedanya to maybe uni in unim any credible uh, developer be uh, but or Pesamo Buano for him or her to buy a property. Uh, what are some of the locations are uh, more developers a year? Oh developers need the ye will be brave be brave. And see nya ye bit to me a ye dear boa unya kone say um we work with your budget one and then your locations. A be a only location be in mind that we have because of the the pool of um data which we have from various developers. No, we can suggest to you say, okay, so based on the loan amount which you are qualifying for, no, um, these are the properties that fit within the budget. In Tiahono, you be to me about options to choose from. Um you can let the person go and view the property on your behalf. So properties need dear any developers be brave because every day there's a new developer coming up. And then um, with that as well, um, we have um, a seminar which we hold with developers uh, where they come and then we gather, we, we talk about what it's available, plans and their projects for the years in the in the next few years the short term and the long term and you know no obana will say oh i don't have any any idea of where i can buy a property now but majorly you you consider the capital city so for now we have we're doing accra most parts of greater accra eastern region um we are doing um um kumase we are doing Takrade and then some capital cities, but those are properties which have title or they have registered in um, indentures or their documents are well placed. 
Right. Yo, I was here for an enumerary, uh, yeah. In your by Elizabeth Ashi from First National Bank Business Development Analyst, any Elizabeth or from uh, Brick and Wood Properties, and I or more adjoining a year train come on mortgages in Ghana with First National Bank, and I say home ownership in Ghana. Um, very soon, I'll bring this section to a close now for your movie on to tap tap same focus section. A honomo and a ura, David, a J, any ura, uh, Mauto, Dieta Mauto, or more ever joining in the seat now or more. I take you over. So, if you have any question regarding your tap tap send app, please, uh, Nyabotre per in Subi and no train Thomas, meba honom this year, and Chibia. David and uh, Director Mauta will take the seat now or more and some questions about tap tap send. Uh say so, oh any peculiar issue regarding your app on so now here customer service assistance. Uh, I will open breakout room one na uko no more customer service team el eh, honma or more and so ebeboa. Eh, me fa one or two questions be now fe me mama me guest no a de omo last words abba na ye de this section no abba every eh, year. And it's young. Thomas or being on Tom, I'll meet yourself and answer your question. Yeah, thank you very much, Nana. Uh, please, my question here uh, the credit um, reports. Uh, with the credit report, I'm um, speaking from Europe, uh, French, Italian, um, German. Do we have to do the translation ourselves, or you get the report and then you do the translation? Because as we are speaking of the 419, you know, the report in India. Uh, it, <laughs> You have not encountered the fake ones, but I'm sure one of these days you might encounter the, the fake one. And then being in a foreign language, you know, if it is not well translated, if, how do you get the translation? Thank you. Okay, Auntie, um, credit, um, or the translation, and our documents which needs translation, a bar. One, we... We trust um, that you have to do it from a trusted source. And then also we do have some, okay, for the purpose of um, the, the hitting on somebody submitting a credit report, which is fake. Um, there's been an instance, there was, that was years back, an instance where an applicant submitted um, a credit report and bank statement Everything was, let me say, JJ. But it got to a time that sometimes you, you just can't beat the system throughout. It's possible to beat it, but sometimes you are not, you might not be lucky. So there was an instance where the person submitted credit reports and stuff. And then we do have um, agents in some countries which we work with. So at a point in time, we had, we just had to do our checks and then we sent it through our agents to clarify, say, is this right? And then the person just had to tick all the boxes, raised all the flags in the statements which was sent, the, um, the credit reports, the addresses and everything, the font size, the color, everything. There are some times where you, you just can't, do our way like you can't beat the system throughout but we do our checks and um, in the um there's there's always a bad nut some way in the and no sometimes we try our best that's why we have our risk team and we, we call them the eagle eyes so they will be able to ensure say everything that has been submitted is right so the process does not just go through one person so every Every, at every stage, everybody has um, a responsibility or a role to play in the documents which you have submitted. I believe we are okay, please. All right, cool. Yes, well, okay. My main fact, Patrick, now if you move question time, no, Embra, every year. Patrick, I'll meet yourself and answer the question. Oh, thanks for having me again. Um, I to uh mommy Elizabeth. Uh during your presentation you touched on uh age. Uh it actually shocked me because uh what about those of us who are over 65? That means we can we are not qualified or be disqualified to purchase 
one of your uh, products. Uh, now. Okay, so um, as part of policy, you know, um, and we are also regulated by Bank of Ghana, the, okay. we believe, say, at age 60, even for residents at uh, Omowahano, Omo mm -hmm. the yes, is at age 60 because at age 60 you are retiring, you are going home. And we are not going to rely on your monthly um, retirement benefits to service your facility because as I then know, as I can now, you know, I will have a sika when you 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 have a sika when a mortgage for you. And the way be 65 and you are there because your retirement age is not 65. Sometimes it's around 67, 68. Um, mm. It's difficult, one, to get um, an insurance company to take you on board and then servicing the facility as well. If you're around 65, then because our minimum tenure for the mortgage is five years, it will be difficult to take you on board. Okay. Okay, so then automatically self-employed people won't qualify because if I, I'm self-employed, I don't have an age limit whereby I'm going to retire, right? Yes, please. So then uh, a self-employed person will never qualify for? If you're above the oh. age of 65, okay. um, it will be difficult to give you um, an instant oh. yes. All right. Thank you very much, Patrick. Thank you. Uh, let's, uh, I wanted to end it here, but Felix, if you can make it brief for us, that would be great. Then I'll move on to the focused focus section. Felix, I'll meet yourself and answer your question. Uh, yeah, just a quick one for Elizabeth. Awesome. I think uh, the doctor did ask, but it was in person, so maybe it was missed. You guys do uh, off-plan properties or not? Um, for the we do, yeah. okay. Yes, we do off plan, but off plan, you are you are taking the facility, um, you are buying at an off plan offer. Yeah. We'll only disperse when the property is ready. In another instance, you can take if maybe your vendor or your developer is giving you a payment plan because of the offer and the off plan, which most do probably because they, they'll be doing a 12 months um, Build. delivery. Okay. Maybe at every three months, they expect you to make a commitment. So with that, you can take a construction whereby we disperse to the developer in tranches and then at the point of disbursement or at the point of completion by then, the funds would have been paid to the developer and then you move in and then you start paying your mortgage um, facility, um, repayments, sorry. So in that sense, you'd, you're taking two different packages on. If no, I get you right. It's, it's one package. It's one package. You have taken an off plan. Yeah. So for off plan, assuming the property is a hundred thousand, yeah. Off plan can give you up to eighty yeah. percent. Uh, sorry, eighty thousand. They can give you eighty thousand off plan. Yeah. But at completion, it, it might be sold at a um, hundred thousand. So if off plan is giving you eighty thousand, they will uh, um, they will expect that you make a deposit. Mostly is around twenty to thirty percent initial deposit for you for them to start with the building for you, yeah. and then maybe after three months you are expected to make another commitment, or maybe they split it into four where you do um you do um quarterly installment or okay. whatever the amount comes to you are you are required to pay that at the the day of delivery or at the day of uh, on the day of completion. So when it happens that way, it's either you are doing a purchase from the bank where we wait till the property is completed by the developer before we release funds to them, or you go through the, um, the construction route where the, um, the developer will give you an indenture, a copy of the indenture, and then um, you apply for a home construction, and then we release funds to the developer um, in tranches. And then upon completion, you move into the property and you start paying your mortgage um, repayment. Oh, okay, okay. 
Thanks for clarifying. Thank you to Felix um, for your question. Um, at this point, I think I'll bring this session to a close and I'll be taking their last words. Uh, now, Obi A. Busa said, uh, when joining them, I think we joining now. Uh, Obi Nya, a way of it, me recap. Uh, this program is being streamed live on Facebook and YouTube. Facebook, uh, Tata Sen Ghana page. Uh, Ubenya El Honomo and uh, YouTube and so no call OT Media TV. Ubenya El Alternatively, uh, you can join OT Media TV WhatsApp group. Uh, you be posted link in El Honomo and anytime you have a program, you are yeah, you post a link in any update El Honomo. So if you are on this call and you want to join OT Media TV uh, WhatsApp group, uh, anytime you have an update about our upcoming programs, you are we post it there and also the links for the previous program and the programming you yeah i'll post it on that page so you can join it i've posted our chat room honomo you can click the link and join the ot media tv whatsapp group uh, page na ya bwao embribi ayebe program bi ayebe inform you honomo sabre yebe ko na elizabeth ohini am in the last words from brick and wood properties then na elizabeth ashi and so am i in the last words from first national bank elizabeth Aine. okay prince thank you very much once again i mean every time i come here um, it's always uh, an exciting moment and you know i'll just close with saying for the people who were not around let me just give a recap of who brick and wood is brick and wood is a real estate development company um, we build houses, mostly residential houses. Currently, you know, we have a three and four bedroom um, community that's coming up in East Ligon Hills. And we are looking at as low as $135,000. And you have a duration of 18 months for your payment. If you are interested in this, I'm leaving our contact details in the chat room. Kindly reach out to us. We we will send you a brochure that has an in-depth because this is a time bound. We can't go in-depth, but I'll send you a brochure when you reach out to me. The brochure has a lot of information. If you have more information, I'll still talk to you. We can jump on a call and clarify all your your, your questions. Um, thank you very much one, once again. And I'm looking forward to speaking to anybody who is interested. Thank you, Prince. Thank you for coming, Elizabeth Tahini. Um, Elizabeth Ashi, your last words. Okay. Thank you. So thank you once again for bringing me on your show. Um, so like I mentioned last week, if there's any time to take a mortgage, this is the best time. Because for now, we are offering a discount on our interest rate of up to 1.5%. Yeah. on our base rates so if you want to take a mortgage this is the best time and with that there's um the um we will make it easy for you there will be a dedicated um consultant to assist you at every step of the process everything is all the cards are laid so there are no hidden fees there are no hidden costs there's nothing that is hidden we we ensure that before um, disbursement or prior to disbursement, you understand what is going on. There's a dedicated staff um, um, assigned to you as well when it comes to your repayments or if you are encountering any challenges with your um, your monthly repayment and all that. So I'll require that or I'll say that my closing remarks, um, my Contact has been left in the chat room, so you can reach out to me via text or email or WhatsApp if you want any understanding, if you want to take a mortgage, maybe just make an inquiry for future. My doors are open to assist you anytime, any day. Thank you once again for hosting me. Thank you very much also for coming uh i mean you've been a blessing to some of us uh by providing such a wonderful information when it comes to home ownership in ghana yeah that's it and anytime be you be here and more be no uh you be sign i've been knocking door for it to be a blessing to our audience on this platform 
Thank you, thank you so much, Elizabeth Ashi from First National Bank. Yamisha. Yo, I was here for a year. Yo, eye Elizabeth Ashi from First National Bank, Anna Elizabeth Ohene uh, from Brick and Wood Properties, and a numeric medium, a brow, a my equipment, and come out a far a year mortgages in Ghana with First National Bank, and as a home ownership in Ghana. Uh, meeting any Nana Kwame or say to Yame Adma, you're saying she'll be name, um, Sabre, yeah, Dane, a home, Abba, your bape, a tap tap saying focus session. Ura kofi eje yi eti e bie mu dende yende yi. Sa en so ena ye ba ye be bie e breakout room. Na breakout room no e one e hono mu ena customer service team for en so hono mu. Tino uwa any issue with your tata send apa. Please go into the breakout room because in the main room we will not be able to assess your account and we can put your details out in the main room. But breakout room, no, it's a bit more private than uh, where we are streaming to the whole world. If you have any issue with your Tata Sen account, go into breakout room when we come back. Uh, but before we go, uh, David, who will be a and two guests here and you may on here. Thank you so much you for are. coming. Last week, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, both Elizabeth. We said last week, uh, Nanakwame at Mobile, we started a conversation. And um, from what I'm seeing, Nanakwame might be third time because clearly uh, there's a demand for go from Bazumsi down Ghana and Bazumsi down Ghana. Even the prices you mentioned around East Lake going out ridiculously reasonable. Uh, relatively so, but it yeah, must about some when your time. I mean, not just come to talk about the bill, it will be so free bank about to just explain the entire process. So, thank you so much for making the time as usual. And I'll call me great job for bringing them on board. Thank you very much. Yo, I was your phone, Tino. Yeah, call Abba, yeah, Bape, definitely. Uh, Kofia J will be in the seat now. And San, I know, Mr. Wise, OPC, Unya, the link to the show I am in the now sign a TB more two place uh, three places than the day mount uh tap tap send Ghana Facebook page okay please like the page for us and now say call a OT media TV on YouTube a honso okay but more than subscribe anytime with your bad life be on also be to me and your notification or join in and now finally uh made the link at a uh, year uh chat room or uh, zoom one uh tap a uh, year yeah, ot media tv whatsapp page who uh, clicking now join here anytime be a year show new vip made the link and ever sent to one and i was saying it to me i should be him yo zabri yeah daniel yeah but time with tap tap send a year tap tap send focus session and yeah the better also at the amount it has tap tap send oh. Send more, spend less, send more, spend less, send more, spend less. If you want to transfer money quickly, waiting for you. Tap, tap, send. Very safe, very fast, very secure. Tap, tap, send. Very easy, affordable, and convenient. Tap, tap, send. You want to send money to Africa and Asia. Tap, tap, send. If you want to transfer money quickly, waiting for you. Tap, tap, send. Very safe, very fast, very secure. Tap sand. Sugar cane sweet, but can your love is sweeter? So, but don't you speak with a little ginger? Oh, girl, I wanna be with you, but you know they got enough time from me. I wanna live with you. I got it easy way I can let go. Can you never know? So, go on, gossip. Man, them so far to find your love. Can you never know? So, go on, gossip. And I'm so proud to find your love Ah, me don't want to know you, yeah, yeah Oh, she got can't sweep
bad care, your love is sweeter. Yeah, So when those shoes mix with a little ginger, yeah. Oh girl, I wanna be you with you, but you know they're getting out time for me. I wanna. You never know, so you can go down. Go down. Oh, can you never know, so you can Say you conga, man dem so far to find ya. Me say conga, so I conga, man dem ba ba ba. Hold on, show me your ticket, let me see. And let me see that woman that is sweet. I put a couple thousand dollars on your breast. I'm a, I'm a the car doctor, okay? I ain't never seen this guy man. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say this. Remind me of Jesus. 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 On www.otradiouk.com, and of course we have live activities, more coming on politics, sports, social entertainment, and everything that you request. My name is Sanko Patterson, and so I'm gonna be part and parcel of it. And of course, OT Radio has come to say this is the sound of Africa. Yo, I'm just gonna fall sabre. Uh, ye be a year breaker room one, Bomadia a court breaker room one. If you have any issue, be a name, um, Sabre, dear, or a coffee, a jay, or it's not a game, but all any issue, be a court breaker room one. Dave, take over. <laughs>